Hello, and welcome to another episode of Enshrouded. So, what I want to show today is my technique I found for making a item that resembles a sarcophagus. So, we're... Let's go into our backpack. And so we're going to use the large crypt table, red marble block, and our hammer. So the first thing we want to do is come into our build menu, and we're going to switch to a one meter block, and we're going to place it right up against the wall. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring out our table and we need to place it so that the middle leg is standing on that one meter block. Let's take a look at it and I think I put it in a touch bit too far. So we're going to go ahead and pick it up and place it again. That one's still in too far. Let me pick this up again. Let's see if we can use uh, we can't can't do the zoom like you can with building blocks. So just gonna have to there we go come over like this come on go up it's usually not quite this difficult to get it right Okay, we're going to go with this for this example. Let's go ahead and switch back to our hammer, our one meter block. And what we want to do is put one block, I think it needs to go in one more. What we may have to do is turn snapping. this out a little bit. Let's try it there. Okay, let's go ahead and pick our table back up. And we're going to go, should be two by two. that I don't uh, we're gonna put that back okay now let's see if we can get this to line up right Okay, now we're going to go back into here and go back to our build and we're going to use the two meter wall blocks or the uh, mm, 
Okay, we need to turn X off. So we want to push them down so it's under. So something like that, but let me go show you another one that we did. I'm not sure. I think this uh, wall back here might be having a problem. They, when I was building this, the higher up I got, the because of the way it was mixing two meter and four meter squares, it made it. A little difficult sometimes for things to line up correctly. Let's come down here. So this is what it looks like when everything kind of goes together correctly. The legs don't get stuck in the walls. So let's try rebuilding it over here under this window. We'll go there. Switch back to this table, rotate it. Nope, it's in a tad bit too far. Let's try that again. Let's try this. two blocks in. See, it gives the table a little bit more space to sit on. Backpack. Three. There we go. Looks relatively centered. I can see the caps. There we go. That's lined up properly. Now let's go back to our build hammer and place that. There we go. We're just using these for the reference. That looks good too. So what I'm looking for is I want to make sure the table legs stick out further than the block. Same thing on this side. That table leg sticks out further. So that will give the illusion like we have over here where the legs are part of the sarcophagus. So now that we got our lineup spots done, we need to pick the table back up. We'll come in here. Let's see. Let me double check. It should be two. Maybe it's three. Okay, it's three. So we come out from the wall three and two high. Okay, now we should be able to put our table back up here. And we want to come over here and look. No, it's not quite far enough back.
Okay, so you can see how the legs are disappearing in the block there. So we want to bring it out just a touch. Should be right about there. Okay, then we're going to come back to our hammer. We're going to switch back to the two meter pieces. Snapping is still off. We'll go there and there. And let's get out the built menu. And that is the process I used for building the sarcophagus. Okay, next thing I want to go ahead and show you is bring up our map. Come here to Kindle Waste Spire. And we're going to go ahead and jump off the south side. Now, I've shown these locations before, but I want to show you a little trick I noticed on the map. Let's run up here and grab this chest real quick, just because we're here and so is it. Let's come down here. Okay, we'll stand right here. Let me open up the map. And let's zoom in. Oh, I need to move off that a little bit. Check now. A touch further. So, if we look here on this map, oh, we go just a little further away, a different way. Our character markers going on top of the map. Okay, so if we look here at the map, we'll see the four pillars for the buried tomb. And then we've got this circle right here inside of it. So, let's come up here. And that little circle's kind of an indicator of where the stairs are. So, let's come in here and dig down some. There you go, and we're in the crypt. So, what I've discovered is this is a method to find more of these buried tombs around the map. The layouts are touch different on some of them, but the general rule is there. So, let me jump out of here again, now that we know what we're looking at. So, once again, we've got the pillars in the corner, and then a circle here. Now, using that, I kind of looked around other places on the map, for similar layouts. 
So let's remove this marker. Now this one's a little bit different because the top of the tomb's bigger, but we've got six pillars, three on each side. So what I've kind of noticed on the map is anytime you see anything that looks too square, too rectangular, something along those lines, uh, it's usually a good indication there's something. And after noticing the pillars on the other one, that got me looking, and this is definitely a hidden tomb here. That's why I got the marker on it. And we've got... So you do have to zoom in pretty close on the map. Let's see. There's another one that is right here. So we'll remove that marker, zoom in, and we can see the four dots in the corners. Not all of them have the secondary circles, some do. But once again, anytime you see this, that's going to be a buried tomb, so you can go ahead and head to that. Uh, that's it for now. Hope y'all have a good day. Goodbye.